This is Las Vegas Real Estate Now with local real estate expert Harvey Blankfeld. Where we want to educate you about our market, empower you to make wise decisions, and help you engage with our expert contributors. I got a couple articles I pulled out of the paper this week, and I want to talk about them. And again, one of my favorite authors in the RJ, that would Eli. be Eli Siegel. Yes, he, he writes for the RJ, and, um, and he wrote this first one. It, it says, Valley Home Builders see good 2021 start with strong January sales. Now, this is new home builds, guys. We've been talking about resale predominantly. Right. Um, but new homes have also taken off, and they're they're kind of nutty, too. Mm -hmm. uh, Southern Nevada Home Builders started the year. This is in the article. Uh, I'm quoting right from the article. Southern Nevada Home Builders started the year with the most sales activity since the frenzied mid-2000s bubble. Yet another sign that housing is bucking the Valley's broader economic plan. Builders booked 1,249 sales since the beginning of the year uh, in, in January, and it's the highest tally for the first month of the year since 2006 when the, those, those uh, sales reached 1,973. It's really important to note that while it's crazy busy, it's nothing like what it was, and that's what I wanted to point out to you. Uh, right now, they're doing a little compare and contrast. They said uh, new home permits last year in January 2020 were 1,080 this year. In 2021, there was 1384, so 300, about you know 30% more. Um, closings of single-family homes; these are all new. Last year there was 559. This year was only 522, so a few, a few, uh, a few less. Yeah. Just a little bit under that. And then closing at of attached homes was 154, 153, about the same. So I mean, they're they're building more, but they're closing about the same. I think they're closing at a pace they can really only close at. Right. I think they've kind of maxed out their closing pace at those numbers is what they're doing. Well, I mean, a lot of, you know, not to not to bring up the pandemic, but a lot of the things that have been affected, we're seeing it now. Supply lines have really been affected with right. lumber, with materials. So mm -hmm. they... Appliances, we're seeing, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. right? Yeah. Right. It's, it's been a problem. So that's definitely affecting the new homes because, yeah. you know, when you buy a new home, you're getting, they're, they're building it. So they need all those materials plus the appliances. Right. Indeed. So things are definitely a little delayed and they're probably waiting to pull their permits until they absolutely need to. In this article, he goes on to talk about the mid-2000s. Home builders notched just over 28,800 sales in 2005. 28,000. Just, oh wow. That's like a mini market. Yeah, and then in back itself, in, in just, 2011, they only did 3,890. Wow. Right. Um, wow. And then this last year, they did 11,000. So less, I mean, about a third of what they did back then. So look, okay. 11,000 is a lot. It's a good number, and I'm sure the builders are thrilled with that number. But it's nothing like it was in the mid 2000s. It's not like that. And there was an article Eli Siegel wrote this past <laughs> week. I want to talk about this. He says Las Vegas rental home market holding strong during the pandemic. And in the article, he cites a couple of large uh, companies who have a uh, big inventory of properties here. And but listen to these statistics. This is interesting. In 2018, and this is from Invitation Homes. They have a a big uh, book of uh, properties here in Vegas. I think it's something on the order of 3,000 homes. Um, but in, in 2018, they had 96% occupancy. Um, and in 2019, they had 94.7% occupancy. 2020, 96.2% occupancy. Now, uh, and, and they're saying that they're having uh, just a little over 3% of issues with non-payment of rent. I can tell you from our own personal experience and our own book of business, we have we have less than 1% right. of wow. people not paying right now. Now, that's not to say there aren't people out there who are struggling to get them to make, make right. their rent payments. We, we understand that, but it's not as pervasive as people think. They think that this huge chunk of the rental market is going to collapse because of that. It's not. Um, it's and, busier and, than ever. And these companies are, are backing that up. Plus, rents have gone up. Quite a bit. Try to find a rental right bit. now. No. Uh, unbelievable what, yeah. the, what, what rental prices are right now. And yeah. it's hard to find one, too. I mean, uh, we, we cause, I'm, I'm getting called, I got a call this morning from somebody say, hey, Harv, can you help me find a rental? I was like, yeah, I'll try, but it's tough. It's maybe tougher on renters. I just told you how hard it is on buyers. It might be tougher on renters than it is even on buyers right now. Yeah. Right. Um, because, and so if you're in a rental right now, you're, you're, you're left with little choice other than to renew at this point. Even if the landlord wants more money, you don't have a choice because there's nothing else out there. Here's the statistic from uh, Invitation Homes, who's this large uh, owner of um, rental properties, and, and it's, it's about rent collections. It says there's also an issue of rent collections. The invitation says pre-pandemic collection rate averaged 99%, and in the fourth quarter of last year, it was 96%. So they, they're about 4% of their properties weren't paying rent in a timely manner. Uh, but there are other investors in this market building homes specifically for rentals right now. Right. There's a lot of that going on, which I think is great. We need we need to have that available product uh, for people because right now there's just not enough out there. You've been listening to Las Vegas Real Estate Now. If you ever have a question about real estate or any of the other topics we cover, just call me off air or text me at 702-203-1165. You can also check us out on the web at lvrealestateradio.com or on our handle on social media at 
LV Real Estate Radio. We'll meet you on the radio next Saturday at 11 a.m. right here on the new 101.5 FM 720 AM KDON at Talk of Las Vegas.